is fourfold. Detect, identify, intercept, and destroy. This is ADC, ever vigilant in its readiness, worldwide in its operation. Since the early 1960s, primary interceptor for ADC has been the F-106 Delta Dart. The 106 is armed with both the Falcon guided missile with conventional warhead and the AIR-2A. In 1968, when North Korea captured the naval intelligence vessel Pueblo, ADC joined other forces in reinforcing the defenses of South Korea. From McCord Air Base in Washington, the 318th Fighter Interceptor Squadron took off for Korea by way of Hawaii and Okinawa using in-flight refueling. Operating from Osan Air Base, the F-106s conducted typical air defense missions intercepting and identifying Soviet bombers and long-range reconnaissance aircraft over the Sea of Japan. Just 60 miles to the north was the nearest MiG base. Contact between the 106s and the MiGs never occurred, but the possibility was ever-present. It was immediately apparent that missile armament exclusively was not the answer to air combat with the MiGs. Quickly, a plan was drawn up for a gun package which could be installed in the F-106 in a matter of hours. The gun was the deadly M-61 Vulcan. The M-61 is a six-barrel Gatling-type gun that was installed as original equipment in the F-104 and 105. It was added to the F-4 after MiG engagements in Vietnam proved the inadequacy of missile-only armament. In the F-106, the gun is installed in the armament bay after removal of the nuclear genie. The four Falcon AIM-4s are retained. In the modification, all of the gun components and the ammunition drum are mounted on a pallet that is installed in the center aft section of the bay. The gun barrel itself is enclosed in a long, thin fairing along the bottom of the armament bay door. A ram air scoop was installed on the dorsal portion of the fuselage above the engine air intake. The scoop extends into the slipstream so that when firing of the gun begins, it provides cooling air for the gun compartment and ammunition drum. It maintains this cooling air until 30 seconds after firing ends. A closed loop linkless ammunition feed system is used. Expended ammunition cases are returned to the ammunition drum rather than being ejected during firing. First, actual Air Force testing of the installation was made at the Eglin range. The gun performed satisfactorily in these preliminary tests. Flight testing began without delay. Initially, firing missions were conducted against a towed target the TDU-10B Dart, which is a four-way assembly constructed of paper honeycomb core and covered with aluminum. A basic racetrack pattern was flown at 20,000 feet altitude and 350 knots indicated airspeed with level turns. The F-106 was positioned one to 2,000 feet behind and one to 2,000 feet above the target. Approximately 10 seconds prior to the Dart turn, airspeed was increased 400 knots and the attack was initiated. Only one short burst was fired per attack. The breakoff was up and to the outside of the turn. Multiple passes were made until all rounds were expended, the target destroyed or fuel expended. Between 17 October and 21 November 1969, a total of 18 dart missions were flown. Hits were recorded on every mission except one. Then it was decided to conduct a full-scale test against a simulated enemy fighter. The target selected was the MACE. 
With its 44-foot length, 23-foot wingspan, the jet-propelled Mace was the ideal target. It easily resembled a fighter aircraft. The Mace was also flown on a racetrack profile at 10,000 feet altitude and 430 knots true airspeed. The Mace was then accelerated to 500 knots and put into a 45-degree bank turn. The 106 established a rate of closure and fired at 1,000 feet. Two Mace missions were flown. Both times, the Mace was easily shot down. The effectiveness of the gun installation on the F-106 was an unqualified success. More than 40,000 rounds of ammunition were fired in the tests, and no gun system malfunctions were encountered. Installation of the cannon internally provided a very stable gun platform. Gun firing vibration had no apparent effect on fire control or electronic components of the Falcon missiles carried in the missile bay. Although designed for combat against fighter-type aircraft, the gun installation also could be used against bombers. It is an excellent weapon in event of a malfunction in the interceptor's weapon control system or for extremely low-altitude intercepts. It might be sound tactics to have a gun-equipped F-106 accompany each interceptor armed with a nuclear rocket on air defense missions. The two aircraft would possess a range of capabilities that no single interceptor has today. ADC also has the capability to deploy a number of EC-121s with its F-106s to provide airborne warning control. Such airborne warning and control could be as useful for bomber escort and fighter survey missions as for air defense. For the longer term, Six Shooter suggests a concept of a permanently assigned dual mission for ADC's interceptors, air defense and air superiority. The performance of the F-106 makes it very suitable for air-to-air -air combat, even against as formidable an opponent as the MiG-21. The F-106 Delta wing and relatively low wing loading give it superior turning ability, particularly at high altitude and its aerodynamic cleanness and high thrust to weight ratio provide excellent speed and zoom characteristics. Thus, the F-106, even though a relatively old aircraft, possesses a remarkable combination of speed and maneuverability. ADC regards the F-106 six-shooter gun package as essential to the global air defense mission.